Joey's on his way over. I think I heard my driveway alarm just go off, showing that he just just pulled up. A um, couple things. Some people asked about some lures that we're using on some different trips and whatnot. Uh, wanted to show y'all that right there. That is a uh, nice bent hook. It was actually more bent than that. I bent it back a little bit for our last fishing trip. When I w went out to Cove Harbor, that right there is what happened when I lost a nice redfish. So I'm going to swap out my, my hooks on this, put some new hooks. I usually change them out after the first trip anyway because a lot of the factory hooks I'm not a big fan of. Uh, they, they typically rust down here. I mean, they all do eventually, but some of them are a little faster than others. Uh, Rapala, little three inch skitter walk. I've had a lot of good luck with this. I've had this lure uh, about two weeks now, and it is pretty beat up. But hey, picked up another one. You can pick it up at Walmart Academy, your local sporting goods store. This one here I'm gonna try out. It's got a little bit of chrome to it. We'll see what happens. But uh, I'm gonna swap out the, the hooks on this bad boy. Don't know if I'm gonna go with the red or if I'm gonna go with uh, the silver hooks again. But oh, looks like Joey's here. Let me go answer the door. I want to answer the door, let him in the house. That might have been a problem. I don't know. Anyway, swapped out the hooks. Went with red this time. Went with one size larger. Uh, we'll see if it works. It's, it's an experiment. I know the lure works. We'll see if the little bit larger hooks have any effect on the action and or the successfulness of All this right, lure. So, I got done rigging up my other lure. It's just like this one here. Okay, that's the Rapala. This one I just left the, the regular hooks on. I'll end up changing it out probably next time I go out. Try to get at least one trip out of the hooks. The other one, like I said, bend over on a nice big redfish I had. Just some of the different gear that we run um, on the Causeway video. Uh, we had a, somebody ask, I like to run these. They're actually made by Egret Baits. They're a paddle tail. Uh, these are like a glass minnow type. I, I used this one. Also used a clear. Um, that didn't produce very well so I went back to this and a complete bone white one worked pretty well phone's blowing up apparently um, same thing some of the other trips same thing egret bait this one here is a Mardi Gras color I've not been able to find another package of these these are the ones I bought on clearance chicken on a chain the action on these egret baits are expensive but Man, tell you what, the fish really, the trout really go after these. I caught a couple redfish. Our Thanksgiving video ended up running one of these. The, the Mardi Gras color, the first redfish I caught was on this. Then I switched over to the spoon. Cheapy, inexpensive spoon, Walmart spoon. You can see that uh, the color is already starting to wear off and fade. But Weebless spoon did just fine on it. Also, Inexpensive cocoa minnows. These are pumpkin spice. These are not expensive. These are $1.99 a package. Buy a couple packages of those. I've caught a lot of, a lot of fish on those. Um, some of the other ones I carry, of course, the old Badonka Donk here. It was a literally a $3 or $4 lure at Walmart. I've done nothing to this other than take the split ring off the front. I didn't like that on there. The action wasn't quite as good. This one here works exceptionally well. I've caught redfish, caught trout. I've done a lot with this cheap, inexpensive. Little Yozuri suspender. Again, not a real expensive lure. Uh, I think seven bucks. I've caught a couple fish on this one so far. Here comes Joey. He was back there playing with his rape whistle or something. The day I went over to, to Port Bay and did not record any of the fish I caught, yeah. Good old saltwater assassin, just white on a standard jig head. Nothing fancy, bouncing off the bottom, about two foot of water in between the island and the flats. The fish were just being funneled through there. Those are some of the lures I use. Now, obviously, there's more, but for a grand scheme of things, that's, that is a whole is what I actually use. If I'm in a pinch, the other day when I was running with Rockport Ryan, this is the small tackle box I took. Just a little bit of, of, you know, the basics, nothing fancy. 
you don't need a lot of gear and you don't need a lot of expensive gear to go out and have fish. It's the person that's using the gear, looking at your environment and knowing what the fish are probably going to want. And Mike Joseph, he has a hard time with that. So we wanted to put that information out there and, and just give y'all a little quick intro of what, you know, who we are, what's going on. I mean, y'all been watching us fish for a while or people that have not been watching us fish, you'll be able to get a little bit of insight into who we are and what we do. Unfortunately, Joey did not charge his, his uh, GoPro it before he came charged. over here. He didn't charge it because if it was charged, we've been using it. But once again, we have to use my Hero 4 Session. No. Cheapy, mm -hmm. refurbished one. I bought for $155 off of Amazon. And it has worked phenomenally well compared to his <laughs> two Hero 5s that uh, he has nothing but problems with because he can't get them to sync up or his little little thing his little watch you know, turn on it just like turns on one and not the other so he doesn't get video of him catching anything i've had one day where i forgot to turn it on that was it the only reason i didn't catch any fish on video because i didn't turn it on i had fish prior but not after so once again far superior than joseph that's okay <laughs> I'm better looking too. What That's are you just... gonna make it a competition for? We're just trying to make Come it out on. for the fans. Come on now. Hey, fishing is a competition. I don't care who you are. It's fun. It's all about friends and family. But it's it's more fun when you can brag that you caught the most fish and the biggest fish. Because how many people come out and say, Okay, whoever catches the biggest fish is gonna do this? Right here. Bragging rights. Boom shakalaka. That's how it's done, son.